I'm going to show you how you can import transactions in IIF files into QuickBooks using Z Axis. Now you might ask, why would you want to do that when QuickBooks has a built-in import feature for IIF files? So the reason why we've done this is because many people struggle with IIF files which may have errors in them and will not import correctly into QuickBooks. Or alternatively, they want to append additional information into the transactions, but they can't do that using IIF. Or they may just want to reduce the chances of data corruptions or errors happening in the QuickBooks file. So to show you what I mean, I'll run through a quick demonstration of bringing in some invoices in an IIF file. So I have here a sample of an IIF file which contains some invoices here. Now you can see this format is quite um, in-depth and confusing for the layperson to look at on the screen. So it's not a nice format for people to use to import into QuickBooks. Now I'm going to open that same file in Z axis. So I browse to where that location I've saved that IIF file is and I open it. And immediately you see a preview of the raw data that's in that file in this panel down the bottom. So to make more sense of it and to select the fields that we want to bring in, I've created a map. And here I've said the customer name should equal the name column in the IIF import file, the date, document, document number to invoice reference number, and so on. And down the bottom, we've also included the item, item reference here. So with that map we've saved and we can reuse again. And immediately, now you can see the fields and the corresponding data that's going to be brought into QuickBooks. So the final step in the process is to actually import those transactions. What we do is we take that data out of the IF file, format it in and import it into QuickBooks using the QuickBooks SDK. So the summary tells us those four invoices have been added in and we'll just go through into QuickBooks and view those so here we have starting at invoice number 1010, 1011, and so on. So you can see those invoices have been created within QuickBooks. So that's just a great way that you can take IIF files that may have an error in them, or maybe broken, and bring them into QuickBooks using Z-axis.